Today, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a full stack Next.js project with Supabase as the backend and deploy it using Vercel. Now, the very first step in this process is making sure that your code is all pushed to GitHub. I'm assuming that you know how to do this. You can see I already have this project pushed to GitHub here, but in your code editor, you might need to make sure that you're connected to Git and that you have pushed to GitHub. Now, if you're a little unsure how to do that, you can definitely talk to ChatGPT and get everything pushed to GitHub, but I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you already know how to push your project to GitHub. So make sure that your final project is pushed to GitHub, and then we're gonna head over to Vercel. Now at Vercel, if you don't already have an account, go ahead and create an account. It is 100% free. And then once you do, go to, in the top right-hand corner, you should be logged in, go to your dashboard. You can see this is my dashboard. I already have several like kind of demo projects here, but then you're going to click add new project. And what's important here is you might need to go and connect your GitHub to Vercel. If you come to this page and you don't already see your projects, you might have to connect your GitHub account to Vercel. It's very easy. It's very straightforward to do. It will give you kind of this step-by-step -step prompts on how to get things connected to your GitHub. So right here, you should be able to be able to do something like add GitHub account and then make sure that you just sign in and add the account that is the same account that you pushed your project to. And then once you do that, you should be able to find your project. So this is mine, Brainwave Final. We can see it's the same title in GitHub, Brainwave Final here. And then I'm going to select import. Now, a couple of important things as you do this is A, we can keep everything the same. It already recognizes that it's a Next.js project. But what we do need to do is add our environment variables in these columns here. So it needs the key as well as the value. So I'm going to come back to our VS Code project. And what I want you to do is in your .env.local file, you're going to copy everything. So command A, command C. And then once you copy everything in your .env.local file, so it should be our three environment variables here, next public superbase URL, next public superbase anti key, open API key, command A, command C. You can see I have all these highlighted. I'm gonna copy all these. And then within Vercel, I should just be able to do command V and then paste all three of those into Vercel here. And that should really be all that we have to do. Then we can click deploy, and then I can keep my fingers crossed that I didn't mess anything up and then it just kind of works. So I'm going to give this some time here to deploy. It shouldn't take too long. And then I'll kind of cut the video when it's actually done. And it looks like things have been successfully deployed. So I can see you just deployed a new project. And then we see a little preview here. And then I'm going to click continue to dashboard here. And status is ready here. So it looks like the deployment was successful. Now what we need to do is I'm going to copy this domain here. This is the domain that Vercel gave us. So I'm going to copy this link address, and then we need to head over to Supabase. So here within my Supabase dashboard, I've gone to authentication, and then I've clicked on URL configuration. What we need to do is we need to add a site URL, and then I'm also going to add a redirect URL. So we're going to change our site URL to instead of localhost, it's going to be our HTTPS brainwave hyphen final dot Vercel dot app. It's going to be the link that we just copied for our deployed Vercel link. So you're going to change that to your site URL, click save changes. And then I'm also going to add a URL as a redirect URL. And it's going to be the same one brainwave final Vercel app or whatever you named it here. It's going to be this domain that Vercel gave us here. And then I'm going to click save URLs. So this should make sure that Supabase will correctly work with our deployed application. So with all this set up, let's go back to Vercel and I am going to go ahead and we're gonna go visit this domain. So we see we're at our deployed application here. I'm gonna click get started. I'm gonna try to log in with an account that I already know that exists. If you don't already have that, you can create a new account here, but I'm gonna try to log in and hopefully we're able to sign in to this project and it looks like we are successfully able to sign in. Let's see if we can add a additional note here. So I'm going to say test note. This is a test 
note for test purposes. I'm going to try to save this note. And we do see the note shows up here, which is great. I'm going to try to delete one of our other notes. Yes, we'll delete that note. Looks like that note gets deleted. Let's click into one of these notes. Okay, we see that uh, we have our summary here. Let's see if we can edit it. So I'm going to say, instead of a research competitor analysis, I'm just going to change this title to all capitals test and then click save changes. And then if we go back to our dashboard, we should see a note that has all capitals test, which is great. And then let's see if our summary feature still works. So for test note here, let's go click on summarize and see if it gets us a little summary. The summary is probably not going to be great because we don't really have much content here, but let's go ahead and give it a try anyway. So it's summarizing. And then we see this note is intended for testing purposes. No specific actions or steps are outlined. So yeah. It looks like our AI summaries are working and it looks like everything is working pretty well. Let's test and see if this delete button works here. Okay, delete note. It should redirect us back to dashboard with a note deleted and it does. And then we should be able to log out and it looks like we can also log out and everything looks good here. So we have successfully deployed our Next.js Superbase application using Vercel and really just the matter of a few minutes, which is pretty dang cool. So this concludes our project here. We have added authentication. We added some cool CRUD functionality. We used some AI summaries with OpenAI, and then we even went and deployed this application to where you now have a working application that you could, you know, share around and, you know, extend this. There's a ton of different things that you could add to this to make it really, really cool. So thank you for following along here. Thanks for watching this video. If you just wanted to see how easy it is to deploy with Vercel and uh, Next.js Superbase app, that's cool too. But thanks for following along with this and thanks for watching. I, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you got something out of it. So I'll see you in that next one.